Hello guys, <clears throat> today I will show you a small technique that I always use when I buy for example a stock according to my criteria, I put stop loss, now after one day or two or three or one week it goes down and it hit my stop loss, so what should I do? Now I put this stock into uh, a portfolio like well, let's say uh, losers stock stocks it means any stock that you lose with a stop loss you put it in that portfolio now what do you do after you just wait few days if the stock goes up to where you bought to where you bought it before just buy it again and put the same st stop loss and just wait most of the time most of the time the stock if it goes up it will be a winner okay so this technique i always use uh, why it is e effective and efficient it is because sometimes um wh when you buy uh, it happens that there is maybe a big seller or uh, someone who wants to short the whole stock very hard and he he or let's say a hedge fund or some sellers maybe some who own the stock they sell and this will do what will put the price into a pressure and it goes down so almost all the people who put st stop loss they uh, lose the trade and they exit the trade but Maybe you ask me the question, you say, okay, why do we use the stop loss uh, uh, then? If, if we buy the stock goes down and then it goes up. Here is the problem. The problem or the probabilities is that you will never know. Okay, let's say a stock you bought it at $20. You put stop loss at $19, just an example, okay? Now, the stock goes to your... Uh, stop loss which is $19 and you exit the trade now who tells you that the stock will not go down to 17 to 16 15 14 13 who will tell you so there is a probability if you stay and this is the problem of all most of the beginners I'm saying I'm saying almost all all they do the same mistake they leave a stock eat their principal and they are watching helpless because they think about this idea and they and they say what if what if the stock goes up now the question i ask you are you doing uh, swing trading it means short term trading or are you do investing here is the here is the problem that most of the uh, beginners they don't understand when you buy a stock uh, when you are investing you don't put stop loss why because you are staying many years this is this is logical you are staying uh, many years you shouldn't put stop loss for, with one dollar or two or three because you are betting on the company itself it grows so you give the company time okay to grow bigger and bigger and bigger and it attracts investors and uh, mutual funds and hedge funds and they they invest in it and they become a big stock but what I am saying here is I'm just speaking about a short-term trade which is called swing trading okay so this technique is very very useful and try to try it so I always use it and uh, a lot of stocks that I exit I will buy again and most of the time my trades are successful now what does it mean successful it doesn't mean that you uh, successful it means uh, you just lit you make little money you say successful no when i say successful it means you get uh, some profit that it is good profit i'm not speaking about two percent or five percent this is uh, this is a profit no i'm speaking about maybe thirty percent fifty percent seventy percent this is what i what i call a winner it means you make money from the stock not uh, like the other guys who uh, make uh, um, 
make a, a winner and you say, oh, I make $5 or $10 or $50 or $100 or $200. This is not what we are looking for in swing trading. Now, these small prices, you can get them in day trading, okay? But in swing trading, we are looking for more, okay? So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Please uh, comment. If you have special, um, special um, uh, question, please send me an email. My email is always in the description. Thank you very much.